So we're starting to see one of the big negatives to our just ugly ass borders is first of all, we had some rebels spawn up in that last video in a very, a very bad time and in a very bad place because it takes our army months to get over there. We, we've got to really work on our borders and that's what I plan on doing for the next few videos is just kind of cleaning them up and, and making it easier to, to access the, all the way around. I also really got to work on my force limit too because we're starting to piss off a lot of people, getting a lot of aggressive expansion. I only have 35,000 troops. That's actually not that much for this for my size. That's not enough. Absolutely not. We've got the Ottomans at 60,000, Austria at almost 60,000, France at 41,000, Castile and England all ahead of me, Timurids, Lithuania. Where the hell am I? Oh, Lithuania. <laughs> I'm actually at I'm not even at 35,000. I'm I'm technically because I've lost so much manpower. That's another issue. I've lost so much manpower, and I gotta be careful. Wait a second, I lost manpower. If I lose, oh shit, if I lose stability, I'm screwed. I've gotta lose some ducats. If I lose stability, I'm pretty sure it's going to, uh, I'm gonna go into a peasant's war. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the possible, it's possible, it'll be possible for me to go into a peasant's war. So, let's see here, I'm looking for peasant's war, manpower less than 25%, stability less than zero have no disasters. Okay, we might want to boost this up when we can. I've already cored this shit though. Oh, let's hope that we let's hope that we don't get unlucky. Damn, 25% of 50,000. Yeah, we're quite a bit away from that. Okay, you guys get over this way. And I don't I don't even know how long it's going to take here. Let's split you guys up so that you're not like both progressing through like these terrible provinces at the same time that have really bad attrition rates. Uh, how bad is how, how bad what are we looking at 80% chance of some nationalist uprisings I'm gonna continue to just feed in the harsh treatment. I can't do anything else. What else are we waiting for war exhaustion is, is ticking down uh, Overextension is gonna be going away religious unity. Okay, so the national unrest should be okay. I hope I hope by the time I Hope that we finish these cores fit soon. Wow look at Sweden. Oh my gosh. So what exactly is going to happen here? Is Denmark, how much is Denmark going to actually take? I mean, I just want some of these top provinces, just so that we don't got to, uh, I just don't want to go around this, this, this long arch every single time. I don't know, we'll see. What do we got? Okay, okay, not bad. We're okay, just don't give me any events. Uh, don't give me any revolts. I want to get back my manpower. I can boost it now. It's going to cost us a lot, though. I'm going to do it, just in case. All right, boom. Got it. Okay, that's good. That was that was good, because that would have really slowed us down a lot if we didn't deal with that. I'm also fabricating a claim on perm. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, if I start to fabricate a claim on perm, if we take them over at the same time, um, we might be able to maybe start to colonize out here. While we wait, at least. While we wait, at, at least. Um... I do need a few more boats, at least cogs. It's only going to cost me a few ducats. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Maybe boats would be faster. I don't know. I don't want to build too many. We'll build that much for now. And they're just, they're just going to be transports. Um, I mean, we could, do, we could transport 5,000 men at a time between these two adjacent provinces here. That would take a while. Uh, there's no straight, yeah? Yeah, there's no straight. Okay. It would take a while, but we'll see. I don't know. Okay, so um, I've got my king here. How old's my king? Uh, my heir is 21. King is 30. I want my king to die. That's right. I forgot about that. My, my heir is a lot better. He's like a 451. Not too good in military, but uh, we could probably change my national focus by now. It's probably been long enough where I can change it. Not yet. 1511. Okay, we got four more years. Okay, so stay around for four more years and then, and then die. <laughs> and then I hope you die. Not bad. All right. So the cores are almost going to finish. Uh, I just hope that... Let me consolidate the troops. Let me consolidate everyone that we have so we don't got to sit here and wait for this anymore. I'm going to delete my mercs as well. I know it's risky. I know it's risky, but I'd like to get more money for now. A little bit more money. Even though the mercs could be helpful. Oh, that was all the mercs we had. I guess it deleted all the other ones. Okay. I thought I had a lot more. I, I had at least 6,000 mercs. I don't know what happened to them. They might have died. I mean, who knows? There we go. As long as I'm seeing, at least I, I'm seeing, finally, the manpower to go back up. 
I like that we took this province as well, so that way these guys are both allied. Um, this small little nation as well as this small little nation, so we should be able to do some co-belligerence and take three provinces at once. Not anytime soon. We're not trying to do that anytime soon, but at some point I'd like to do that. And also, are they orthodox? Of course they are. Of course they are orthodox. Okay. All right, so get some diplomatic power. And uh, good. Are oh, the cogs are still not finished up? Wow, the production is taking forever. I mean, I knew that these provinces aren't, like, the best. We knew that, like, kind of jumping into this. So now now my force limit's got to be pretty low. 33,000. At, at least we're getting manpower back. Because I can tell you right now, we're probably going to see some revolts. We're at 80%. I just might let them have it. Let, let them have it. Where exactly are you going to revolt at? Somewhere within this region. Here, I'm going to go up north. <laughs> I don't want you to revolt, like, right on top of me. Actually, that might be good. Here, you know what? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Let's 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 put them next to each other at least. That way we can reinforce if uh, they don't both spawn up. Although we'll be fine if the cores finish. The cores finish. Oh no, there's no way. Twenty-four point five percent chance it's gonna happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen while we're running over there though. Uh, Timurids have announced Lithuania as their new ally, or I'm sorry, rival. Right. <laughs> oh shit. Yep, that was a bad idea. All right, well, that two stack's dead. Hopefully I get here in time, 18th of December. All right, well, I did. That's good. Gonna lose some manpower. Luckily, there's no one really strong enough to, uh, there's no one like that tough. It's not like we're like adjacent next to like a France or something like that, you know? There's no one like really, really scary next to me, so that's, that's nice. Uh, Papacy, how am I doing? Am I any closer to being able to buy, being able to buy something? Prestige, I don't need prestige. Nope, 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 nope. We don't need any of that. All right, so we're at 21,000 troops. Let's go ahead and reinforce. Then I might consolidate after that. We should be okay, though. Not bad. I don't think I don't think these Lithuanian particularists, particularists are going to spawn up because these cores are going to be finished up. All right, looking good. Let's, uh, let's kind of unify all of these guys, figure out exactly how... Actually, you know what? I bet you they move a little bit faster. April of 20... Okay, maybe not. It takes them about a month to get across. We've lost a claim. Where? Okay. That's okay. How are the Ottomans doing in their war against the QQ? Oh, the Ottomans are at war with Castile, Aragon, Naples, Portugal, Portuguese, Brazil, and Austria. Whoa. Well, And you're just at war with who? Who? So someone declared war on Tunisia. I bet you someone... That's That's how these wars start off. Someone declares war on Tunisia, and then they get screwed. So who's winning, though? It's It must it just broke out, I guess. That's going to be interesting. Uh, who is Croatia allied to? Poland and Tuscany. Uh, I'm going to lose the diplomatic power. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a tough one. I, I, was, th I was considering maybe, uh, maybe, oh, God, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if I'm going to get here in time. I was considering maybe letting an 8-stack spawn up, but I probably shouldn't do that. Probably should not do that anymore. Please do not lose this. We're going to lose it. Why is that? 35. We've got we're, we've got more morale than they do. Come on. Give me some good rolls, baby. Are, do, you have a, do you have a great general? Not better than mine. Oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic, guys. You're doing a great job. You guys are in a fantastic military. That's the most unbelievably frustrating thing to me. I don't I don't know why, it's just that kills me. Alright, well let's let's run back there fast. We might have a chance of maybe taking them on again. And you know what? I'll hire a few mercs right outside here. Twenty eight days? Yeah, we should be able to hire like a few of these guys right adjacent to them. I've got a, I've got the money. We might be okay actually. Okay, so that should drop off the rebel chat. Ah, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Damn it. All right, well let's let's get over here. Damn it! I hate this shit. That's ten years right there. It's stupid rebels. We've got to really focus in on that. Um, so this has gone away, right? Yeah. So we shouldn't have to deal with this anymore. Should we? Are we going to be okay? I don't know. I don't want to get a crossing penalty again. 
I'll move. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a crossing penalty from just about every place we go from. Right? Is it is it every single place? Yeah. There isn't one place. No, there's not one province I can I can go to. Okay, well, I don't I don't know. Can I do this? We're going into the woods again. We will cross a river. I I I don't know. I'm afraid that we're not going to be able to do this. <laughs> I at least I have one stability. That's good because uh, we're still very close to a possible peasants war. Oh, and uh, Denmark got a whole bunch of provinces. Norway got a little bit stronger. Sweden managed to stay okay though. They still have to deal with their rebels though. The rebels is, are still a thing. Damn, these nationalists are building themselves back up faster than we can. All right, let's 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 send the the mercs over here. I might need to hire a few more actually. And maybe I'll just delete them later. Oh, great. Okay, good. Good. Actually, you know, this is probably a good thing. But I will hire a few more mercs just in case. 19 days. Not bad. Yeah, I know. It's going to cost us a lot of money. But, hey, I'll take it. I will take it to not lose the manpower. Okay, so I don't think we're going to get any sort of crossing penalties from the province that we're in, right? Hmm. Not from... There was one here. Don't tell me. Oh, okay, okay, it's over. Okay, okay, it's it's over here. I was about to flip out. Another crossing penalty. No, don't do that. Oh, but they are located in the woods again, so that's great. We're gonna be suffering from a little bit of attrition. Perm has broken their alliance with uh, Muscovy. I like that. And now we'll just wait. I'll I'll make sure that we're we're right on point here. Hey, Poland, what's going on? Wait wait a second, Poland. Oh, are you going to destroy these guys for me? <gasps> no. Are you going to unsage my lands for me? That is so sweet. That is really, really sweet. I'm really, I'm wondering if you guys are going to reinforce for me. Yeah, man, Poland, you're awesome. I, I don't know what to say. You are just so awesome, Poland. Okay, go that way. Go this way. What's the supply limit at? Okay, we're going to be over our supply limit. That's okay. I think I'm thinking Poland will reinforce us. If we're if we're losing it, I think he's going to reinforce us. All right. So we will not get a crossing penalty. Uh, we will be fighting in the woods. That's okay. Just please. I'm 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 I've got to like overthink more rebel fights than I do against like a regular AI. Oh shit! Come on, Poland. <laughs> we can't beat our own rebels for some reason. I don't know. That's just extremely frustrating to me. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and... I don't even know if I want to delete these mercs, to be honest. They are going to be useful. I'll keep them there for now, I guess. Uh, and I'll consolidate, too. All right, so now my military has got to be terrible. 27,000. Technically, I'm at 27,000. It's not, it's not bad, but considering how big I am, it's, it's a little bit scary. It is a little bit scary. Okay, I've got to rival the Ottomans here. I've got to rival the Ottomans. Okay, how are the Ottomans doing? Ex oh, excuse me. Uh, how are the Ottomans doing exactly in their war? Still zero. Still war score of zero. Looks like it might be a, just a complete stalemate. I should also start to get up my navy, huh? I should. I can build up a few more boats. I might even build a heavy boat. No, that's that's a little bit too much. Should I build? I should. I kind of want some more light ships. Let's build three more light ships. Light ships are good. We do need some galleys, though, so we can at least fight some shit. Because uh, right here in the Baltic Sea, we have... They're all light ships. Okay, yeah. So this will be kind of our light ship area. Then we have our, our transport ships up here. 5,000 men at a time that we can transport. Uh, transport. This, this should be quick. He should be able to get there like... Yeah, he gets there in like three days. Oh, that's nice. So it would be very, very fast being able to transport guys up that way. Um, who are you allied to, Sweden? Skal Scotland and the, ha the Hansa. So, you know what? Poland might join in against Sweden, though. I'd like to... You know what? Let's go ahead and fabricate the claim. I want... want Lapland. Yeah, Lapland. That'll make it a little bit easier, I think. At least on our journey. I hope. Thank you, Poland. You guys are the real MVP. You really are. Okay, okay. We survived. We survived. Why do I still see this, though? Rebel Uprising. Oh, it's not really going to happen, though. Okay. I was scared. 
Also, this would be a good time to kind of catch up in our in our terms of military and stuff like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, technology. Uh, in terms of technology, this will be a very good time to catch up. All right, good. We get a little bit of defensive troops there. Um, okay. Local unrest. No, let's go missionary strength. It's going to cost us more technology cost, but that's okay. Now, let's see how we get... Oh, my gosh. We can actually do this now. How many missionaries do we have? We only have one. Ah. All right. Well, we need to start converting some stuff. That's so great. We can start converting things. Our religious unity is actually surprisingly at 87%, but that's only because of the tolerance that we have. If it wasn't for that tolerance, it would be nowhere near this area. We're also going to be able to start to annex our vassal. Get a little bit no royal marriage, Austria. I don't think so. You're allied to so many people. Wow. I mean, that's, that's usually the case. So if I take this deal, does that mean... Oh, yeah, I'll, take, I'll just lose the ducats. I don't think... I can't go... You can't no, go negative manpower, right? I don't know. I didn't want to find out, but I'm just saying it was, that was a little, little bit spooky to me. The thing about uh, that, the thing that I do love about Lithuania, though, is that we gain 500 manpower per month. That is crazy. That is really, really insane. Tolerance of heathens. So, I, I mean, how many... Uh, what's going on with heathens? I mean, I don't even know, like, how many heathens... We don't really have that much heathen, like, area... Yeah, we can't do it. We've got to, we've got to catch, catch up in tech, man. we really got to catch up in tech. I'd like it, but we don't really... You know, there's only a few Sunni provinces, and they're not causing us too much, too big of an issue, so it's okay. I need to really clean up my borders, though, especially after we annex. It's going. It's only going to get worse when we annex our vassal. We need to take over Georgia. Who's Georgia allied to? Armenia. Armenia is nothing. We could take over all this territory, but I don't know if I want to be bordering the Ottomans. I don't know. I mean, technically right now, can they fabricate a claim? No, they can't, but when we... They can fabricate a claim on our vassal, and they can declare war on the vassal. I think they can, yeah. Which would be ultimately us. I mean, essentially, that's us. We need to get up a lot more claims, but our, our, our guys are coming. Our diplomats are coming back. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's annex. Stop improving relations and annex these guys out of here. A little bit more provinces. more Unfortunately, more orthodox, but uh, that's okay. We're, we're converting orthodox provinces. Okay, it's not bad. All right, so how long is this going to take? 1525. It's not going to take that long. It's not actually going to take that long. I'm doing 10 ducats per month. That's great. More. Ah, uh, this is where I'm kind of thinking. Maybe a, a level 2 advisor. Fort defense. No. Okay. Discipline's the only one that we can really use. We don't need it in our military. 34, 25. Okay. King is 34 years old. 34 years old. Stability is up. Prestige. I'm losing a lot of prestige. I've been losing two prestige per year for a very, very long time. Legitimacy is cons you know constantly going up though, so that's nice. Okay, I got to fabricate a claim. Do I have a claim on these guys yet? I already do. Okay, let's cl let's claim these guys. Um, there it is. Boom, claim. Because that's essentially where we're gonna go to war with next. Actually, you know what? I might just jump into it because they're not gonna be a deal. Perm actually might be an issue. Technically, Perm could be an issue. How, how big is Perm's army? Let's go ahead and check that. That's going to be tough because I don't know where they're going to be at. Okay, hold on. Perm, you've got 5,000. Okay, 5,000, but you got a lot of manpower. All right. Well, what are we going to do about that? Should we just start to, like, build things here? Hmm. We could easily do this. I mean, I don't know if I want to do it right now, though. Just doesn't seem like it, it'd be a good idea right now. Maybe give it, like, a... A year or so. I mean, I don't think it's going to get any worse. How, how's Muscovy doing? How, how are they not blown up yet? Uh, they were at, I left them at like 17 war score or something like that. I'm sorry, war exhaustion. I don't know. I don't know, but okay, whatever. I guess what I can do is send the mercs up that way just because you're probably going to have to deal with some winter and shit like that. Um, yeah, I'm sure that that's that's probably a good idea. Okay, let's send you over this way. Select. You're going to go on a journey, guys. You guys are going on a journey. All right, and you guys are all natural. You guys are Lithuanian born. Actually, our mercs could technically be Lithuanian born, but I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, you were trained by our army. You got some random group of people. All right, guys, looks like I'm going to have to stop right there. 
We're gonna go to war with some pre some smaller guys. I mean, I mean, I might like wait. It's not necessarily gonna happen like right now, right now. But it, you know, maybe within the first like next year, maybe 15, 13 might be a good time to do it. Uh, I kind of want to just get these guys across this area, sign my king. And then, uh, yeah, actually, you know, what? I all I have to do is go like this. Boom. There we go. How fast can you get there? Oh, not bad. You guys can do it pretty fast now, huh? Yeah, you can. All right. Wait a second. Where's, where's this attrition coming from? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's okay. You guys got it. So there we go. Yeah, that that I think that should be enough. We might kind of recruit a little bit more men over here. Who knows, a few more mercs or something like that. We certainly have the money to do so, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm just waiting for my manpower to get up at least to 20,000, which probably another year, and we should be good to go. We just finished up our claim. Anyways, guys, probably going to go to war in the next video. Uh, let me combine here before I forget this also. All right, combine. That's it, right? Yeah, and continue to control the Baltic Sea. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.